Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. I want to do one more video on Mongo relationships. This is for like how to do like a many to many relationship. Because generally, whether it's SQL or no SQL, the way you do many to many relationships is with, is with what's called a, um, what's the term I'm looking for? A, a join table. So the idea is that you have one table or one collection that all it does is keep track of pairs. Okay, and sorry for the sirens in my background. I live in Brooklyn, in a particularly noisy, sireny neighborhood. Um, but that will that will soon come to pass. So let me just comment all this out from my previous exercise. Um, so this is all gonna get commented out. And we're gonna start a new. So we're going to say we're going to do parents and children because parents can have more than one children and children can have more than one parent. Um, so there's many to many. So we have to create a parent and child model. So const parent equals new schema. And every parent has an age, a name, string, and an age number. Okay, and then kids are pretty much the same. They have a name and a number. So this will just be child. Okay, and then each of these need to get their own model because we do need to have unique children and unique parents. So const, uh, so this has got to be parent schema. This has got to be child schema. Const parent equals model parent parent schema. And then this will be const child equals model child child schema. Okay, and then we have to create the model for keeping track of which children belong to which parents. Okay, so we'll call this const PC parent child PC schema. Okay, um, and this is going to equal a new schema. Okay, and that is going to take a parent okay which must be a parent actually it's going to be a ref so we're going to use a type mongoose dot types dot object id i'm not sure why he doesn't like this uh, So here's what I'm going to go back to where I destructured stuff from Mongoose. I am going to destructure types. So that way I can just do types and just do it here. Types dot, I think it's object ID. I'll make this even simpler. Um, and we'll just call this const object ID which equals types dot object ID there we go so this way I have it just one little variable instead of having to type in mongoose dot types dot object ID okay so now I'm all the way back down here what is the type object ID okay and then what is in reference to this is in reference to something in the parent uh, model. This needs a comma. Okay.
Okay, to the parent model. Okay, and then we'll do it again. So in this case, this will be child. And same thing, except this is gonna be a reference to the child model. And then and this needs a comma. Okay, cool. So that's that schema, and that needs to get its own model. Cons parent, we'll just call this PC rel, meaning parent child relationship, uh, equals model PC rel PC schema. Okay, cool. So we got all our stuff. So we need three routes. Okay. Um, let's see here. How do I want to do this? Const. Well, it's going to be app.get or app.post. First, we want to need to add a child. So, add child. Okay, and then we'll do async rec res. And this time, res.json await child.create rec dot body okay then I need the same thing for parent add parent okay Um, rec dot child child this would be parent dot create. Good, so that'll create a parent. Then we need to establish custody. So we'll say parent child. And what this will do is we will say parent child so then what we have to do here is we need to first get the parent so const versus destructure parent child from rect params okay then we're going to put the parent in a variable called p so equals await parent dot find one Learn my lesson. Find one, one a parent who has a name of P. I mean a parent. And it's gonna be the same thing for child, so I'll just kinda copy this line. But this will be C for child. So we rate child dot find one the name of child. Okay, then we are going to await uh, PC rel. PC rel dot create. And what we're doing here is we have a parent, which is going to be p dot underscore id, and child, which is going to be c dot underscore id. Okay, cool, so that'll add a relationship. And now if I wanna see like that child's parents, app.get, parents, slash, custody, or I'll say parents, slash, child. 
So that way I look up that particular child and get their parents. What I do is I'll just do um, a sync rec res. And what I want to do is res.json. Okay, res.json. We'll wait, PC, rel. Okay, I want to search for find, dot find. And I want to find any parent who, where the child I have to use the child's ID in that case. Um, where the child is rec.params.child. Okay, and then I'm going to want to do a populate. Populate. And I want to populate the parent field. And then I want to populate again. Because I want to populate the child field. Okay, save. And doesn't like something. Parent new schema. What doesn't like about parent? Oh, this should be in a parenthesis. This should be in a parenthesis. And this should be in a parenthesis. So I get fixed it. Good. Let's try this out. So first, let's create a child. Name Tiny. Who's five? Hmm. Let's first see that I create the route right. Add child. That's why. Uh, add child. Oh wait, did I comment out at <laughs> I commented out the middleware. Sci app dot use express dot json. That's two videos in a row. I make the same mistake. Okay. There we go. Okay, so tiny is made. Now let's add some parents. Sam, who's fifty five. And Stacy, who is Stacy, who is also fifty five, just don't want to think too hard about it. Okay. And then I think it's custody. And what was the endpoints there? Parent child. So, Kosti Stacy to Tiny. So, there we go. We created that relationship. And then it was, I think, Sam and Tiny. There we go. So, I'm going to take the child now. Take the child's ID. Now that we've created two items there, go to custody. No, we just did that one parents of the child. So let's see here. We want to see the parents of Tiny. So this should look up the Tiny by that ID and f find all the uh, no post parents cannot post. Oh, this is a get. That's why. And there you go. See? I see that there's Stacy who's a child of who has Tiny as a child and I see there's Sam that has Tiny as a child. So I'm able to look up all the pairs because I can see that Tiny has two parents, but it's possible that also Stacy and Sam have other children. Okay, so that's kind of how you create a one a many-to-many -many relationship. You always have to kind of create this sort of ju tracking of joins, uh, tracking of, like, different pairs. Um, 
So um, that's a thing. Hopefully that was helpful. My name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Join the Slack and um, Discord community over there at devnursery.com and like the subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at alexmercedcoder and all that fun good stuff. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.